One of the biggest problems with normal foam board is that it's not waterproof. You know when you go out for an early morning flight and your plane gets just little droplets of water on it from the ground or even if you're flying through a light mist or even if it just starts to drizzle slightly as it does a lot in the UK. Normal foam board without any treatment on it is not really going to cut it because it's going to disintegrate over time and get little droplet marks in it. We're going to be trying out a few different ways to try and counteract this problem. My name's James Wormsley, this is Project Air, let's get going. So to start with, what does water do to normal foam board? So earlier I chucked a bit of foam board in some water and saw what happened. The paper from the foam board just completely ripped up and dissolved. It came away in your hands, you could roll it off, it was uh, pretty uh, unusable so it goes in the bin. There are three different treatments that I tried on this foam board. The first one was using Mod Podge which is a kind of um, crafter's varnish stuff. But the only thing with this is that it's actually water based which I didn't realise before I started doing this experiment. So um, I tried that one to start with. You have to use a paintbrush to actually apply this stuff which takes a bit more time especially if you're going to use it on a big uh, airframe. So after dunking it in the water it was clear to see that the varnish wasn't remaining stuck to the foam board and as you can see it had a pretty similar effect to just untreated foam board. The second one I tried was this which is some sort of clear sealer which has the added bonus of saying on the tin that it's actually makes stuff water resistant. I sprayed a piece of foam um, with this stuff making sure to get it over all the edges and everything. Then like the first one I dunked this in some water and saw what happened. As you can see it stuck really well and created this really nice encompassing uh, casing on the foam board. This heavily protected the paper and made sure that it wasn't going to come up off when I scratched it like with the first one. The third one I tried was this which is called Easy Dope. This one is actually a model aeroplane product. It's for tissue paper as you can see here. Like the Mod Podge, the first one, I painted this on and then stuck it in some water. However when I pulled the foam board out of the glass it was evident to see that it really hadn't protected it. Yeah, just clearly it didn't work at all. It was really a bit disappointing because <laughs> I thought it was going to work. In hindsight though, it is probably a good thing that this was the one which worked because of the ease of application. You can quickly just spray it on an airframe and it'll be really pretty much good to go. With one of these, it would be quite time consuming to paint it on the whole of the airframe and make sure that it's covering every orifice if you want to use that word. So there you have it. The best way to protect your aeroplanes is with spray varnish. I'm going to be probably testing it on this new airframe which I've been working on. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like because I'm just starting out with these sort of things and it would really help me to get this thing out there and get it higher up in the search menus. If you really liked it you can actually click subscribe. I mean I don't really need to tell you about that because it's pretty obvious. There'll be a ton of new videos coming soon, uh, loads of ones about actually flying, getting out there instead of just sitting here behind the desk. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time, happily.